This is every single movie releasing in theaters in the month of July. And I gotta be honest, after the month of June, which was packed, we got a nice light month of movies in the month of July, but not on the 21st. Let's get into it. On July 7th, we have Insidious, The Red Door, which picks up 10 years after the last Insidious installment, and it ends where it all began. I gotta lie, these movies kind of just keep getting worse, but I'll still tune in. Also releasing on July 7th, we got Joyride, which is a comedy that I've heard nothing but good things about, starring Stephanie Hsu and Jessica Park, as a group of girls go looking for their birth mothers, and they get into some shenanigans. On July 12th, we get Mission Impossible, Dead Reckoning Part 1. Say that five times fast. This is the beginning of the end. And if this hits the landing, Mission Impossible needs to be talked about as the best action franchise ever. Right, that was a little dramatic. Also releasing on June 12th, we have Theater Camp, which is a uh, movie. But the biggest weekend is on July 21st. We get Christopher Nolan's Oppenheimer, where he's going to blow the roof off the theater against Greta Gerwig's Barbie, which stars Margot Robbie and literally me. Now that's a fight for the ages right there. Finally, on July 28th, we got Sympathy for the Devil, which stars Nicolas Cage looking like that and Joel Kinnaman. Looks decent. And finally, the remake to Haunted Mansion.